Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB. And today in the arena, we are diving back into Neo Niv Fires, the color challenge dialed up rainbow. And there are a few ways to play Niv Mizzet Reborn. We've certainly seen fires of invention decks all over and some that run Niv Mizzet and they come up every now and then. That one was even played in the least in the recent Mythic Championship event by two very good players, Ken Yuka Hero, our true jank brewing hero, and Shota Yasuoka. But, but, it's been a while since I got to play something I honestly haven't seen on other channels. It might be because I don't watch everything other channels put out. I don't have the time. I wish I did. Before I made magic content, I was a I was a consumer of magic content. I watched every video by my heroes and by my fellow content creators. Now it's very hard, but I really don't see many people doing Neoform Niv Mizzet the way I tend to just constantly obsessively come back to Neoform Niv Mizzet. And this build is one of my own. I hope you enjoy it. We've got a few chains in here that I find interesting. I love Kalia to try to find a Niv Mizzet, and then because Kalia has the Enter the Battlefield ability, Neoforming Kalia doesn't hurt. Um, Fires of Invention, of course. It's why wouldn't you play this? It's better than a Chromatic Lantern because you get to play your Niv Mizzet and something you find off of it for free. It's amazing. Then we do have two Knight of Autumns and two Risen Reefs as other threes that we can get. Kind of curious if I need two Risen Reefs. It's an okay card. It's just kind of a placeholder. It doesn't work with too many other things, but it makes the Omnath you can fetch a little bit better if you have. Anyway, um, one chain that's kind that's pretty fun. That there are some options. We have an Arboreal Grazer. I used to run more of these. I'm only running one because you don't want to draw two. They just clog up your hand in the course of the game. But if you draw the one and Neoform it, you can get an Incubation Druid with counters on it to have seven mana on turn two. You can also get the the, the Lost and draw two cards, or you can just play this, draw a card, and then Neoform it into something better. The Deathless Knight is really fun. We actually have a good amount of life gain in the deck from Tulsimir, Kenrith, Elite, Guard Mage, potentially Knight of Autumn. They can all gain life, which means you can get Deathless Knight out of the graveyard, play it potentially for free with Fires of Invention. It has haste, and then you can Neo form it into a Niv Mizzet. Uh, one time wipe to clear boards up, a Ravager Worm. It comes up sometimes. Kenrith, Kenrith can't be hit off the Niv Mizzet, but you can turn something into a Kenrith and use it. This deck has a lot of options. It's very fun. It also has a buttload of land and a weird variety of them. And I'm not sure. I don't know about the mana base, guys. Mana, mana is hard, but I do choose to run 26 lands because, yeah, you got to hit all your land drops. You must hit your land drops with the deck. So it's a ton of mana. Niv Mizzet, Fires, and all the nonsense in between in Neo form. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's dive in. Let's let some nonsense begin. Okay, we've got a turn three Fires into a Deputy and a Ravager Worm we may or may not get to cast someday. I'll give it a try. What are we missing mana wise? Blue and red. Yeah, we showed him. We showed him who's boss. Turn one lethals. Love it. Love it. Love it. In an event with the gold on the line. Getting that round one, turn one concession. <laughs> Why is Arena this way? <laughs> Whose house? Garrick's house, obviously. We have a Grazer, but we can't play it on turn one, but I'll keep it. If we draw the untapped green source, we are we are in it to win it. Look at you. Look at you, and you're playing the mono blue self-mill deck. All right, this will be a challenge. Let's go get our green source. We'll do it Pro Tour style. Only crack it in response to the opponent and their nonsense. If they have a turn two Drown Secrets, that is the kind of high bar end play the deck offers. They've got a guild gate. That's not particularly impressive. I'll show you. I'll show you a forest. Be afraid. Ha! 
Fibbles! All right, let's get our lands onto the battlefield. You, enter tapped. You, enter tapped. Next turn, we have Fire's Omnath, which is pretty cool. We also have Fire's Neoform into the Incubation Druid to have a ton of mana, but I don't really have an outlet for it. The opponent's doing the things. Look at him go. This deck is sweet. I, I, I want to play it again. I played it for the mono blue color challenge if anybody wants to go back in time and witness my shenanigans with it. Here's a Fires, Resolves. Here's an Omnath. Opponent might be looking at an Unsummon here. We'll, we'll find out. Take out the Narc Amoeba. Next turn we can turn Omnath into Niv and see what follows. Okay, it's a radical idea for the Birdo. We can attack with an O3. I think I'll decline that great honor. I wonder if we're turning Omnath into a Kenrith. I don't really have anything to like nail their graveyard. It's not like I have Ashiok up my up my sleeve. I did look through the card spoiler for a creature, especially one that was multicolored that could mess with a graveyard. Didn't see it. Yeah, this kind of soloing deck that just sort of does one thing every game, totally mills itself and kills you with it, is actually really good against this strategy. So we're, we're going to have problems. Without question, we've got trouble. Uh-huh. And no blocks, but the opponent smartly holding that the Secret Keeper. So we can play this. Neoform something else, potentially. We can play the Knight of Autumn and blow up our Fires of Invention too as our second play. And then we can go nuts with our mana and make a third play as well, which might be what we need to do. Tempo is really important here. So yeah, let's do this. Make you bigger so that you can attack. I don't think we're going to chain together any hasty stuff this turn. So let's send the Omnath. Opponent takes it. So, first spell of the turn. I'm also thinking if I could Neoform into something really good. Maybe I should have got grabbed the 4-2. But anyway. If we Knight of Autumn blow up our own fires, Neoform into a 4-drop. The Hasty Deathless Knight would have been interesting, but maybe I just get a Guard Mage. But then I don't have a Niv chain going. So I think we do get rid of Omnath. It's it's sad, but it's true. Sorry, Omnath. You did your job, I suppose. We could get Kenrith, which I think is better. But we already did the hasty thing. Mm, Kenrith is so good. Is it better than a Niv? All right, we'll get Kenny. <clears throat> We're going to do it. We're going to go hard. She'll play this untapped. I could have used the mana to get it back. All right, I'm definitely not playing this deck perfectly at this stage. Um, let's hold back the Knight of Autumn. We may still want to blow up our own fires, but not while we have Kenrith on the board. All right, well, I can play it next turn. Let's do this, get more options. Wow, all right. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I could have done this whole turn a lot sicker with Kenrith. And I just didn't. Let's see if the opponent beats us here. They found their Drowned Secrets, which is probably their top engine card. They need to get a lot more Phoenix into the graveyard. They hit another chill. Those chills are adding up big time. As you can see, we're down to 10. We can gain five life, we can also draw a card. I don't think I need to draw a card, I'll probably gain the life. And the opponent needs an unsummon, I would say. I don't see any down there. Maybe they cut them. This is more maximized altitude than you usually see in the deck. They're just like, interaction is for wimps. I guess an unsummon still lets us replay Canny for free. Doesn't solve the problems, that's for sure. 
Fun fact, Kenrith is target player draws a card. If the opponent tries to beat us on a completely empty deck, we can target them and potentially win that way. Lulz. Um, take one for the team, buddy. It's probably not going to get much better for you. All right, let's gain five. Passage. So we can definitely start here with a Niv-Mizzet Reborn. Hits. We got hits. Um, more Knights of Autumn don't sound bad, though, as much as Tuls well, Tulsimir is so awesome right here. And the opponent's going to scoop it up, as I think the play here is a Tulsimir. Give him haste, bring back the, bring back the um, Omnath. Give them all haste and <laughs> a smash. How much damage is that? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus six, 13, plus six, 19, plus Omnath enters the battlefield, trigger is 20. Omnath is one, two, three. Um, if we sack the passage, four. Uh, yeah, okay, so 24. The opponent has some blockers, but they don't, they just didn't want any more of this. Let's keep it. We have Paradise Druid into fires. It's pretty good. Oh, look at that. The concession, like, animation jutsu glitch. A collector of pelts. All of the shocklands. Don't, don't stop with the shocklands. Please don't stop the shock lands. Yeah, hi. Hi there. I thought it was going to be like, good game, here's two pelt collectors. <laughs> here's fires. Here's you. Let's go size. Just so I'm ready to spar with some collectors. Wow, opponent's not doing much. And neither am I, to be fair. I can time wipe, but that's not great. Let's scry. That will do. That'll do. That's that's where we need to be. Let's hold back. Keep that life total nice and high. What are we getting with this? Elite Guard Mage draws a card. Uh, Deathless Knight rumbles. The opponent's just stuck. Are they a sad gruel player? What's going on here? All right, well, let's send in the knight, then we'll blow it up. We could give, get Deathless Knight, could just be attacking and attacking. I don't think that's particularly great. Ooh, we could go get a Kalia here. Kalia could get Niv. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's do this. I know Deputy of Detention could take both Pelt Collectors, but I really want to find Niv. It's Niv time. Okay, you might want that back. Yeah! Yes! <laughs> yes! Bring them to me. It's sad. Our opponent got mana screwed. At least it appears that they're a green-red deck. And out of there. All right, we got the Grazer into the Neoform. Let's do this. Are we on the play? I think we are. Our opponent with the new premium sleeves. We've seen some whales here getting mana screwed and early scooping from the person with the Dragon Whelp pet to now the Primo Primo sleeves. And by the way, it's totally fine. If you want to spend your money on that stuff, I have no problem with that. You won't get me tilted about that. It's certainly your money to spend. Yeah, I guess we just need land here. So next turn we do have Neoform. We can either grab the Fibblethib or we can grab the Incubation Druid. And with an adapted Incubation Druid, we can have six mana next turn. We don't have much to do with it. We do need to play the Kalia. So what do we have? We have red, 
We have black. Do we have white? No, our black and our white are tied into one card. So I guess we do need the incubation druid. Let's see if the opponent can deal with this. So this produces three mana of one color. So we can float a few mana. We can play both Deputy and Kalia next turn if we needed to. It looks like the opponent's on fires as they cast Shimmer Possibility. They snap kept too, so I think they've got what they came for. We could use this to go get a white source and then keep this available. I think I like that. Or a black source, probably better since we run casualties. No, we don't. That's not this deck. That's my other five color Niv Mizzet deck, people. Get it straight, CGB. What the hell is wrong with you? All right, we can also run out of Deputy. Let's just get the Druid in there. Deafening Clarion's very good against us, but I think we have the right mana to Niv. Let's see, red, green, blue, black, white. Yep, we're gonna Niv next turn. Every man dies. Not every man truly Nivs. <laughs> go Kalia or go Druid, okay. So, what mana do we want to float? It can be a very important thing. So, Risen Reef is like a key card. Um, I think if I float, if I make this red, black, white, blue, I can float green. And then at the worst, I can play a Paradise Druid afterwards. Whereas if I just tap the five, I only get three mana of one color. But this way, if I hit Risen Reef, I can play that instead. And here's Niv. And we hit the Neoform. That's pretty clutch. And we have the Deathless Knight to keep pressure on. Let's see, we could Neoform this turn. What would we do? We could get a three mana card. We've already pulled the Kalia out of our deck. We have the Deputy of Detention in hand to take this out. I guess we could get Knight of Autumn, blow this up and get back Kalia. That's pretty tight. I know, all that mana. Throw it away. It did its job. Get another Niv, perhaps? Yeah, baby. This is how we do it. This is this is living our best life. Let's see what the opponent can do now. Can it is this castable? No. <laughs> we need one more. Actually, wait. Green, green, black, black. Totally castable. 100%, four hybrids, five color deck, castable. Life is grand, isn't it? Aren't we just lucky to be here, really, when it all comes down to it? Playing Deathless Knights in our five color deck, smorking face with it, getting it back with the elite guard mage. What more could you ask for? The premium lightning bolt sleeves will not save you. You will have to beat me at magic. Fires of Invention. Deafening Clarion, yep. Had a feeling that might be a thing. We got the Neoform. We could deputy away these fires, take that out of the opponent's hands for next turn and play a Paradise Druid. It's very vulnerable to another Clarion, but we hit the opponent for six, and then next turn we have lethal if they Clarion, but don't get to do anything else. Well, I guess they get the fires back if they Clarioned, which means that they will get one more play. Whereas if I hit them for 10 right here with the Deathless Knight, then they have to solve both problems next turn, and I have a deputy to remove a blocker. I think this is the better line. Down to three. We can also turn niv Mizzet into a hasty Ravager Worm. The Ravager Worm can eat an opposing blocker, potentially. Here's Fae of Wishes. Getting Kaya's Wrath, okay. Kenny! Oh man, we're a mana short of making Kenny just smash here. We can play the Guard Mage. This returns Deathless Knight to the hand, and if we draw a land, we can Neoform it into a Niv. I don't think I have anything else that I can turn into a Haster here. Because I could like play Deputy and sacrifice it to go get a four, but with the Deathless Knight already cast, it won't do anything. It, it can't be lethal. We could turn the Paradise Druid into a Knight. The knight could blow up the fires. Meh. 
All right, let's play this. If we draw a green source, we can still Neoform it this turn. But at worst, we get back the Knight. Okay. Now, do we play the Paradise Druid, or do we Neoform the Guard Mage? Paradise Druid is Hexproof. I want more Niv. What can I say? I'm an animal. I'm never satisfied. Keep it up. Chain continues. <laughs> it's another 7-7 seven, seven coming for you. Beware. Next up is Canny. Canny gives tramples. Opponent's going to dig for the answer. Withdrawn from dreams. They find two lightning bolts. Just kidding. Those are the sleeves. They are lovely, though. Here's the time wipe. The opponent knows that the Deathless Knight is coming, though, so that's game. Um, they cast two spells. Now they get to scry. Let's flex on them, because we can. We mythic up in here, boys and girls. We did it again. Grazer into Neoform. I think we keep it 100%, right? I mean, we'd have to draw another land. I guess we can flower for another land next turn. Yeah, we can flower for the other... F no, that doesn't work, actually. Let's see, Grazer Mountain. Next turn, we need to flower for the forest, so we may not be able to play the Neoform on time. We'll have to draw a land. And it will have to produce green... If it produces green mana or blue mana, we're good. So top of the deck, 26 lands in the deck. Let's take that, let's take that gamble and see what happens. Oof, that turn one rope from the fleshed out fox. It must be a complicated deck. <laughs> Coming from someone who plays a complicated deck. I understand. Okay, what is going on in the arena today, everybody? Free turn, we time walked. Best magic player alive, not close. Can we get another one? I love going first when I don't go first. <laughs> I'm just trying to run my five color Niv Mizzet deck and all these games are just tainted. If I get 7-0, how can I look myself in the mirror? Easy. I look in the mirror and I say it's the arena. Dumb stuff happens. I'm not trying to prove whether or not my five color Neo Niv deck is a competitive masterpiece. I'm just trying to jam some cards, get some gold, build up some rewards so I can get that sweet, sweet Theros money, packs, wild cards, whatever, etc. That's all. I'm not sorry. And I'm not taking it too seriously you ragers in comments you take it as seriously as you want to i can't stop you i know this might not be compelling to you <laughs> usually i cut these if i keep it in it's probably just because i went 7-0 and that's the only reason to kind of shed light on the absolute insanity that i'm living through here um we actually have niv next turn cast anyway but yeah let's we're, what are we talking about? There's not going to be a next turn. There's not going to be a next turn. Our opponent's going to rope out. And that's going to be it. End of story. Let's see. This right now can produce green or blue. So this is our blue. Green. Uh, two greens. Ah, hip, they're here. <laughs> we should probably give a little nice. All right. <laughs> Here for the show. I wonder if they're a, a, a watcher. I know, I even misplayed. I should have played this first before I play the land to get it bigger. But yeah, take that. Well, they didn't quit. <laughs> they didn't quit. They spotted me two turns and a million mana of development. Good on them. They refused to, refused to concede. 
All right. Again, we don't want this in mono color, so let's use it to make the green mana again and leave up the breeding pool. No, let's make the blue mana and leave up the breeding pool. Away we go. Yes, sweet. Um, deputy, I, deputy we can save in the holster. Time wipe too. I think these are the grabs. So I can't play anything off the mana I saved, unfortunately. Do we want Falmir Knight to run to Falmir to... Do we want Omnath to run into the night? I don't think so. Dragon is ready. Hit the Fibbles. Um, why not? All the blue? Because we're definitely going to use it. Here's Fibble Fib the Lost. Our opponent looking at this murderous rider, I guess. Goes for Niv Mizzet, sure. Take two. Draw a card. The fourth Niv Mizzet, because why not? Grab one of those. Sweet. Still don't really want to trade the knight for the Omnath. I can do better. I deserve better, friends. This beautiful blob of slime or goop just deserves better. And the opponent says go again, which probably means another removal spell for the Niv. But I can turn Omnath into Kenrith. Actually, I don't even need to do that. This is gonna get gross. Um, we can play you. Let's see, I think we need to make the blue here. See if it uses mana well. It floated the green, whatever. I was hoping to use one of the greens for the colorless, but I guess that wouldn't work either. And there's the Murderous Rider again. Because why not? In the life, draw a card. Sweet. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's go like this. Sacrifice you. Go get Kiani. Play you. Uh, I guess we can put a plus one, plus one counter on something. Give him tramps. Schmork him down. I'm sure the Falmir Knight blocks the Kenrith. Put a counter on, you know, the lost is sacrifice fodder probably, but so is the Omnath. Well, no, we have all the five drops. Omnath is sticking around. Put it on the Omnath. Smash. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Lovely. Here comes things. Our opponent falls to two. Smitten. And they're out of there now. And yeah, it was a bit of a train wreck of a game. Our opponent decided just not to play for two turns, and then barely made it back for the scoops, and then played it out for, I don't know, reasons. Never give up, never surrender. Hands good, I think. Yeah. Does a lot of cool stuff. Another Neoform. Yeah, run the chain. If there's one card you usually want to draw in this deck, it's Neoform. Yep, always, we're just starting on turn one these days with these Bell Collectors. Paradise Druid, let's go. Let's rumble. Next turn we can Elite Guard Mage, and then we can turn it into a Niv. Or a Kenrith, depending what the opponent's up to. Looks like they are up to Growth Chamber Guardianship. Which doesn't match up well against our stuff. Ooh, right off the top, huh? All right, pay two life, play a guard mage. Fires. Fires is interesting. Okay, the opponent's just gonna wall up here and attack with the guardian. I'll take four, that's fine. 
Looks like mono green. So we want to keep the guard mage because we want to turn it into Niv. All right, we draw the land. So two mana turns this into Niv. Two more mana can turn Niv into Ravager Worm. It can eat this castle, which is gross. Since I have another Niv, I don't even think that's a bad play. So let's start with an attack. What about if I get Kenrith? Kenrith can haste and just smash. And then for five mana, next turn Kenrith can bring back the Guard Mage. What's Mono Green even going to do about Kenrith, actually? Nothing. Nothing. Cry. Cry in the corner. Um, What do I do with two more mana after I get Kenrith? I guess it's not very impressive. Because I have to use this for the red. All right. Let's go like this. I was full of tough choices, people. No regrets. Kenny! So awesome with fires, because you get to use all your mana to do the ability and still play two spells. Go, Kenny, go! You're so boss. We get to get back Elite Guard Mage. You know how ripped that is? It's amazing. Vivian. Okay. I guess Vivian's going to go ham on the Grove Chamber Guardian. Make this a six, an attack. It's fine. It's fine. I think I'm going to kill you. I think you're dead. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. This is six. This is 12. If this makes my red mana, I'm not attacking with that. It depends what we draw. We need to draw like a land. Oh, yeah, we definitely need to draw land. We are in we are in critical land draw moment here. Come on, off the top. Did it. Play you for zero. Let's start there. That part I'm sure about. Boom. All right, I can go get the red source, give them all trample. If I want to tap the Paradise Druid, I can bring back the... Hmm. I can also sack the Paradise Druid. I can float the red. I can sack the Paradise Druid to um, Neoform. I can... Nah, I still want to use my mana with the Kenrith. And now that I have this, I should have declined this because I could have sacked Niv-Mizzet, then brought back Niv-Mizzet and had the Ravager Worm. So a little mistake. A little mistake. What's the three mana card? Kalia? Kalia's the strongest. What if I sack the Niv-Mizzet, get back the Niv-Mizzet? Oh wait, I just talked about that. I shouldn't have taken the Ravager Worm, that's why. These games are hard, okay? They're hard. I don't know, Z. Okay, so let's go sacrifice you. Go get a red. One more play here, right? So we want to get that you back. We want to get... All right, so let's tap you for the red. Let's use this to go get the strongest card we can, which I believe is the Kalia. Resolve the trigger. Grab another Niv. Activate this. Return a thingamajigger. Hold on. We have to do it carefully. Nope. nope. Hold on. Z. Z. Alright. Like this. Return. We have to have a red mana available. If we don't have the red mana available, this plan is bad. Alright. Give them all haste. All right, the opponent can block two, so they're taking 12, 16. All right, they have to chump block away, and then they get left with a 6-6. Six, six. Can they win the game from there? We'll make them do it. Maybe we're better off killing the Vivian and just taking away their options. Because they would need four power haste. I guess they could have, like, a, a, a Ceratops, right? 
So if they block here, they take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 14, 15, 16. They're not dead. In that case, let's leave you back. Let's keep you going face. Let's send you over here to kill you. You have vigilance. We don't need to leave you back, but we could. Like this? Yeah, this does also... No, it doesn't force a block on the Pelt Collector. Yeah, I'll just play it safe. I'll definitely win next turn. I didn't find the lethal, but I'll definitely win next turn. Now, if I had the Ravager Worm to eat the Pelt Collector, if I had left this in the deck, played the Niv, Neoform the Niv, Fetched Ravager Worm. Use the mana from Kenrith to bring back Niv. That was the lethal. But that's what I love about this deck. It's so many little things like that. It takes practice. Not just anybody can play it. Um, on the Play it well on the first try, I mean. Anybody can play it. Not anybody can play it perfectly on the first try. It's actually a big puzzle all the time. Which is why I just can't get sick of Neoform, niv Mizzet Reborn. I just can't do it. It's so much fun. I'm playing it poorly, and I'm probably still... I mean, I I don't want to talk about other people too much. I think I'm doing above average from what the, the typical person who grabbed the deck would do. And look, we would have lost. Our opponent had the questing beast for the extra four hasty damage. We would have... We could have lost this game. It was so close. All right, the opponent's going to throw in an attack or two. I'll definitely throw my blockers under the bus. If I live to next turn, I can't lose. So let's make some bad blocks. Why not save that life total? And that's that. How best to do it, though? Let's show off the, the mighty Ravager Worm. Fight you. Rah. <laughs> Give him haste smash, but um, we could also... <laughs> There's so much nutty stuff we could get into. <clears throat> this hand has the druid and a neoform and some plays. I think it's fine think it's okay. Not too... I'm not, like, insanely excited. I think it's just fine. Let's see if we finally face a good old-fashioned aggro opponent trying to smork us down. Mm -hmm. Not yet. Really tempting to save this. I do think I'll draw another land, and saving two damage could be relevant when you have so many pain lands in your deck, so let's see. I'm gonna gamble. Gamble I'm gonna draw a fourth land so that this passage can be untapped. I have 26 land in the deck, it feels right. All right, well, not there yet. You're in my paradise, Druid. What you got? Resolves. Gross Spiral, of course. Sleeveless. What a mockery you are of the, of the, of the game. Hmm. Well, if this is going to be like Night Pack Ambusher Spiky style, I don't think we can actually win. The matchup with that deck is so horrible. Oh, they're just going to jam it now. What are they afraid of? Well, I can go get Deputy and get rid of it, I guess. We did draw an untapped land, which is sweet. So, Druid. Sacrifice you. Shut that down, please. <clears throat> I'm guessing there's a Nissa on the way. The opponent main phasing that, I guess they feared I was playing some weird control deck. Now I'm tapped out, they can slam a Nissa. No, or not. They've got three cards. The way that they played implies that they don't have a counter spell. They might be sneaking it in on me, but we'll, we'll see. Let's go get a white source. So the way that I think we want to sequence our things, there's nothing for the Tulsimir to fight yet, so we don't want to play that. We play niv at Reborn, it gets countered. We play Tulsimir, it gets countered. We play Kenrith, we get back niv at Reborn with Kenrith. So I think this is the sequencing we're looking for. Whoa, never mind. Worst Simic Flash player ever. 
runs zero counter spells. I'm not running this into... Well, no, that resolved too easy. They don't have anything. This is free damage. You can tell they don't have anything when this resolves without any kind of a hiccup. Like a... Whoa, what was that? It's sneaky, but it's true. Arena has information leaks. You may not like it, but it exists. Here's a 4-4 Krasis. And, uh, yeah, here's Kenrith. Here's a mountain. <laughs> what a combo. <laughs> Kenrith, the Return King, combo with mountain. Yeah, baby. Just nothing they can do. Dudes, we did it. Seven wins, zero losses. One of the weirdest, strangest, ugliest 7 0s. A Simic Flash deck that drew no counters. A Golgari deck that gave me two turns in a row. A turn one scoop on the very first turn of the event. Something is salty in the Magic Arena, my friends. But you take your wins, and by God, I got to play my favorite deck. So, and we got double Mythic Gems. Double Mythic Gems. That fifth card problem. Do you think it's solved? Anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And the thank you in this video goes out to all of my YouTube subscribers. All the people who hit that sub button and hit that like button and leave comments, even if it is to pick on the music, even if it is to tell me how badly I play. Whatever it is, this one goes out to you guys. Thank you. Thank you for taking me from about 15,000 subs to over 40,000 this year. I've been, I, I have been and will remain faithful to you. The numbers show that you love standard, magic, a different deck every day, and we'll keep that the CGB way. If you have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Help spread the love. And uh, you can hit the like on the video if you liked it. You can leave me a comment about all the nonsense that this was. <laughs> what a great tutorial of magic, I know. And uh, thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next video. That's right, I will see you later.